By the way, this is how it showed up on my doorstep. This was <laughs> the shipping package. <laughs> okay. Ooh, it's so much better when it's not in foggy plastic. Welcome to the very first episode that is a vlog. So, okay, I gotta show you. Okay, first of all, I got some cool new things that I've bought. I gotta show you those. And second, I gotta take you on a tour of what you see beyond this part of my studio. And normally you're looking at my table. So I'm gonna show you my studio. It was super organized there for like a long while. And then it came to a point when I went through this phase of just mass creating art projects because I wanted to really make sure that I had things done for my Artastic Collective membership. So if you're an art teacher, the Artastic Collective is my membership and curriculum. That is a pay as you go curriculum for art teachers that provides you with a full um, art resource library. It includes an exclusive art teacher growth course, a community for our teachers to collaborate and talk in, uh, an exclusive director drawing series uh, that's similar to my YouTube channel but art themed and only for members of the Artastic Collective. It includes art lessons that are for the artists and our history, the elements and principles, holidays and seasons, um, and around different themes. So it's a really great a uh, program that builds over a two-year period with huge bundles being released every single month. Again, it's pay as you go and you retain all of those um, art resources as long as you maintain your membership subscription. So check it out, artasticcollective.com. The link is in the description of this video. So I went through a phase of mass creating both for my Teachers Pay Teachers store, so Ms. Artastic on Teachers Pay Teachers, TPT, link in the description of the video, and for the Artastic Collective. And I also was teaching full-time. <laughs> so I worked incredibly long hours every single day, every single weekend, and the result became that um, I didn't make my art for a period of a few months. Um, at least, but also my studio went into this chaotic spiral of creative disaster and also like random things that I've started and have not finished. Um, I am going to be going through a phase of redoing my studio. So most of the furniture that's in here, some things are in here because it's just storage and I haven't put it in a proper place. And I'm sure you know the feeling, especially in your own classroom. So that's why I'm not afraid to show you this because like this is everybody, this is true to everybody, right? Um, and this is a vlog, so I'm showing you the behind the scenes look at my life. So um, yeah, there's things in here that I'm like, oh, I'm gonna put this in my studio. And then it's just sitting there and it hasn't like turned into anything. And then there's like things that, like there's actual like, like things that need to go to recycling on my floor and just like, onion peels because I brought my onions from my garden in here, my wheelbarrow in here, like, oh, like I need to get it together. So you're gonna be joining me on this adventure, um, both just like behind the scenes, looks at like my process, things I'm working on, this vlog series on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna try to do episodes as much as I can. So when I'm working in here, both either as Kathy McGivern, the artist, um, you'll see that in a second, um, but as Ms. Artastic as well. But before I get there, I gotta show you my cool finds. So first thing is at Walmart. I know it's back to school season right now. So if you are at Walmart, I don't have a lot of different stores around me where I live. I kind of live rural. <laughs> so, okay, there, okay. Also, there's no point in me telling you prices because I live in Canada, so I'm pretty sure that everything is more expensive than like the United States. So if you're in the US and you're watching this, I'm 100% sure the prices are better. But this was like, I think like a couple bucks at the most. $1.97, Sharpies. Okay, so that's a huge 
I already have two packages I haven't even opened and I still bought another package. I have a Sharpie problem. I'm sure you do too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this big in a while okay so i bought also the fine tip ones they were also there on sale mm, so necessary i'm checking this on the table and you're gonna see that mess in a bit okay i bought something that um i'm 100 sure that all teachers own and i'm the only person who's never bought this that's teacher literally all of instagram is like flare pens Paper made flare. I'm pretty sure this is what this is. Okay, yeah, um, I've never ever tried a flare pen in my life, so I thought I would buy it. I really hope it's good. It won't bleed through paper. We're gonna find out, flare pen. We're gonna find out. Boost your writing fun factor. Smear and fade resistant. Won't bleed, bleed through paper. Well, I'm gonna try it and we're gonna find out, Claire. Okay, so this is something that is super necessary that I bought because I was using my Mastercraft <laughs> Canadian tire scissors all this time, but there's some ooey gooey stuff on them. I was trying to cut some flex tape to be honest and now that flex tape goop is like permanently stuck on my scissors, that like my paper scissors for my studio and I used them on flex tape, that was silly. Anyway, but. These were like in the dollar, two dollar bin. Okay, nothing is a dollar here. But anyways, not even not even dollar stores. But this was in at least a dollar fifty or so. Had to be under two bucks. I only bought things that were two dollars and less. But per Scotch scissors. I'm so excited. Pink. They also came in blue, and I can just tell by that. Can you hear it? sharp scissors for paper. Now you're gonna see these in my upcoming art lesson videos. Okay, also, glue, I bought glue. Why? I actually don't know, but I felt at the time this was low in stock in my studio, but now I'm looking over there, which you'll see soon, which is like the back workspace of my desk. And I'm pretty sure I see two of these caps sticking, sticking out. And also like at least six glue sticks. So art teacher hoarding problems. You know what I'm talking about, right? Okay. So that's that. Oh, 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 okay. But no, no, I got one more for you. You're gonna be like super jealous. Okay, Wayfair, Wayfair find. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, Wayfair find. I opened up Wayfair. I, I think it read my mind and it said, Kathleen, you need this. <laughs> this is a rug for my studio. Oh, aren't you jealous right now? Okay, you get it to unbox slash unwrap it with me. By the way, this is how it showed up on my doorstep. This was <laughs> the shipping package. <laughs> okay, ooh, it's so much better when it's not in foggy plastic. Oh, wasn't that an amazing? feeling just watching that cloudy plastic like roll away and look at this rug okay so this is my new studio rug but if you're an art teacher i know you want this it's on wayfair i believe rainbow rug it's an outdoor rug which would probably mean it's great for a classroom <laughs> Okay, so that's gonna go in my in my studio. It's replacing the black rug. Um, I like blacks. Can you tell? So <laughs> my art style is pretty creepy. Okay, so that's this is what's going on. I bought some stuff. I got me a rug, and my studio's a disaster. So in this episode, basically, I'm taking you through my studio. I need to redo it. I need to go, okay, first I was gonna get like custom cabinet desk thing in here. 
but I'm not even sure about what I really want. So I think I might take my office Ikea desk down here. It's white. I might use that and then buy a second one that's a little bit bigger and some like Ikea like drawer cupboard things maybe. I don't know. If you have ideas, please put them in the comments below. But that's my thinking because my plastic tables that have been very well loved are sagging in the middle and are covered in all kinds of plastic and clay and paint from years of abuse in my ceramics studio. So I need things that are a stable surface for ceramics. Um, I do huge sculptures, so it's heavy. It's why there's, the tables are actually sagging from that. One table I uh, had a plaster mold <laughs> full of like 50 pounds of liquid plaster blow <laughs> in my studio, my other shed studio, which I think people call she sheds now. But anyways, um, it blew and it's covered in plaster though it's impossible to get off. And so I have this like a white surface, which you probably see in some of my art videos. You'll be like, oh, I know that background. Okay, so I'm going to flip you around and we're gonna go on a studio of my studio space. That is, a small part of it is for Mizzertastic and a huge part is for Kathleen McGivern, the artist. Let's go. All right, so you are now with me. Okay, so welcome to my studio. It, this is my studio space. Um, I have a lot of work that needs to be done in here, clearly, okay? So like over here is my Mizzartastic section, but I'm gonna flip you around. All right, welcome to my studio. It's super cringe worthy right now because, um, well, I haven't been organizing it. Okay, so big box of like stuff I yanked out of my classroom there and art mediums that need to go in cupboards that I don't have. I don't have them. It is, imp it is very hard to see what's going on here because it's like right now I'm obviously you have been filming. <laughs> so you got that in front of you. And then there's like the filming station over here for my like YouTube channel and art lessons. These bins are literally full of art project examples, like all my art projects, that's what's in there. That's how many art projects I have. I really need a system to organize it because my old system, well, I pulled it all out because I had intentions of like already having redone my studio by now, but I haven't gotten there. Okay, so like things that are going to go into my studio, I clearly like plant, so I started doing some stuff, but um, it hasn't gotten there. So this is like right here is where all that YouTube channel art project making video tutorials, this is where it happens. So like what you see here is, okay, that's clearly where I was checking all my stuff, but you're gonna be like, whoa, Kathleen in a second. Hello phone. Yeah, I've, I've made at least 700 art projects at this point. Okay, you might be recognizing it. Watch this. Boom. Imagine there's paper there. So that's like what you see. And then this is like the chaos that is around what you don't see when I'm doing YouTube and then just like other um, things I need to grab um, available. Same in that bin, just like my acrylic paints that I sometimes use for our projects, all available there. This is my like little Mizartastic section where you see the backdrop that I use for a lot of things. Um, but it's also actually my like painting area in my studio. So I am, uh, this is just in progress, but there's my, I just pull that out. It's my, all my acrylic paints that I use that are not for Mizartastic lessons, but actually for my own paintings. Um, and then these are just my, like some of my sculptures that I still have. Um, the rest are now in personal collections. And I got some up there too, some older stuff at the top. But you can see that they're, they are big and a very different style from what you might have noticed I've been doing. Over here I'm supposed to, oh yeah, there's some work in progress. And I got some glaze material back there for making my own glazes and my clay cart. Of course, my wheel that got, you know, 
some of that plaster explosion exploded on this uh, wheel. So if you know how to get plaster off things, please let me know. And this is my clay table that is covered in my weird cat outfit and plants because I haven't made clay uh, sculptures yet in the past, I don't know, five months and I'm gonna be doing that soon because I'm rechanging my focus here. So yeah, I got a spray booth. That's what that is, my spray booth. Um, and my clay storage and this is my wedging table, which um, funny enough, I fell off of because I used to have plants sitting up on that windowsill and I thought it was a really great idea to step up on my pottery wheel, step up there to reach my window because it is high, that is high. So um, I uh, missed, I stepped on the wheel part instead of the, the rest. So of course I fell onto the floor. That was really fun. Don't do that. So now there's nothing up there, so I'm not tempted, except for the three up there. But those need less water, so I'm less tempted to go up there <laughs> and water plants. But why I'm showing you this is because, okay, first of all, I know we all go through this phase of like creative chaos. And this is creative chaos literally at its best. Um, and I'm gonna be showing you kind of the transformation of going from this to a much tidier studio. It was tidy, but everything, all these tables are pretty worn down. Um, they're not level. And I need to get some furniture, so I need to go to Ikea. I need to get rid of things, clearly. And I need to make it a place that I can make some art. So the video series, this vlog series that I'm starting on this YouTube channel, is going to really give you a behind the scenes look at my studio, my process, both as Ms. Artastic and as Kathy McGivern. But also, um, you're gonna see the things that I'm gonna be working on um, and developing for Ms. Artastic, the Teachers Pay Teacher Store, and for the Artastic Collective, so you can kinda see what's coming, what I'm working on, and then you can also um, give me ideas as we go in the comment section of this video series, any video, if you have an idea of something that you want me to make as, an, as a teacher resource, as an art resource for your classroom, whether you're a general teacher, or if you're an art teacher, or your studio instructor, or maybe even if you're a homeschool parent, if you're looking for a certain curriculum or art resources, stick those ideas down in the section, uh, the comment section of the videos, and I will stick that on my big brainstorm kind of book that I have, okay? So make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you can join me on this journey as I again transform the studio and take you through everything Ms. Artastic and Kathleen McGivern. So thank you for joining me. Hit the subscribe button and tell me in the comments like um, what you think I should do with this space, where I should go, things I should look into. Maybe you've seen some really great like cupboards. I'm looking for some white stuff um, that is also like durable, holds a lot of storage. I'm really... <sighs> I need some input. So give me your ideas, thoughts and below in the comment section and I look forward to you joining me on this lovely journey. Art lessons, 100 exclusive art lessons. Make sure that you check out my course, 100 Cartoons for Kids. The link is in the description of this video and it's 100 exclusive drawing tutorials, premium drawing tutorials for kids. You can use it as a course for at home if you're a kid. You can follow along with any medium or if you're a teacher, you can use it as your directed drawing program in your classroom for obviously an entire year because you have 100 drawing videos to choose from for your classroom. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video and comment with ideas for things that you want me to draw in future drawing tutorials. I'm always open for ideas, so comment with things that you want me to draw and let's make some art.